The sound that you're now hearing is the first sound that you ever heard. It is the sound of the mother's blood pulsing through her arteries. All the eggs a woman will ever have form in her ovaries when she is a four-month-old fetus growing in the womb of her mother. The mother's blood is the thread that links us back through all the mothers to the very first mother of all the people to be born on this earth. The sacred egg that you were formed in your mother's ovary when she was growing in the womb of her mother, your grandmother. Through all the mothers and all the grandmothers, this sound leads us back to the very first mother, the great ancestress who exists in the far reaches of the past, beyond time, place, and identity. For thousands and thousands of years, the drum has been used in initiatory death and rebirth rituals. You spent five months pulsing to the beat of your grandmother's blood. Energy, life, and nourishment surround us. Return to the beginning, and your mother pulsed to the beat of her grandmother's blood. The pulse of the drum is the echo of the pulse of the mother's blood. And her grandmother pulsed to the beat of her grandmother's blood. I believe that this is the reason, the deepest reason, that human beings drum. What we're going to see now are frame drums from the 5th century BC. And what I want you to um, really notice on these drums are the symbols painted on the drum heads. The dot in the center is the bindu. It's the compacted, unmanifested energy of the universe. It is the first sound. It is the seed of all creation. The lotus is the ancient symbol of the womb of the goddess, the place that you first heard the pulse of the mother's blood, the very first sound. The laurel wreath is a symbol of the power to prophesize. The sound of the drum drove their brain waves into an oracular state in which they could see the past and the future in the present moment. What we're looking at here is a metaphor for how consciousness functions. Now, Apollo represents the left brain. He is the god of logic, of rationality. He is linear, verbal. Scientists are measuring the rhythms of our thoughts with an EEG machine. Dionysius is the right brain. He is the creative, intuitive, holistic visionary. And they've labeled the vibratory rates of these thoughts. Most of us only experience the theta state when we're falling asleep and we have that strange hypnagogic dream imagery. These gods' hands are clasped together. It represents the connection between the right and left hemispheres of the brain. Now, scientists are finding that paranormal abilities manifest in a low alpha or theta state. Unless you've practiced a formless type of meditation like Zen for at least 15 to 20 years, you cannot stay awake in theta. Under the influence of an auditory driving mechanism. You can stay awake in theta. And that auditory driving mechanism is a rhythmic sound.
the sound of the drum. Both hemispheres of the brain can start resonating to the same rhythm. And this is where people experience paranormal capacities. This is called an awakened brain state. They are able to sense the thoughts of other people, or they are able to see into the future or the past. And I believe this is also why human beings have drummed for thousands and thousands of years. Or they have a mystical, sudden understanding of something that they have been working on for a long time. It was a technology for driving the brain waves of both hemispheres into a single resonating rhythm. And the shaman is able to do this journey through the power of her drum. Often there is the bird in the upper branches that flies off and often there is a serpent that lives at the base of the tree that can go into the underworld and often there is a goddess who lives in the tree. And one of the primary technologies for doing this is chanting rhythmically and often to the sound of a drum. Often in the beginning people stiffen up either this finger or both fingers and that makes it much harder to get a good sound. You always want to keep your hands soft and relaxed. The first chakra is connected to the elemental energy of earth, the second water, the third fire, the fourth air, the fifth space, the sixth into the purest realms of light. And this is called tak, the stroke. The first stroke that we're going to do with the right hand is ka. So let's go ka. Tuck, ka, tuck. You want to stop the vibration. This stroke, ka, is connected to the elemental energy of the earth. It's the nourishing, sustaining energy of the earth. And traditionally, it's connected to the first chakra at the base of the spine. Now, the next stroke is doom. So let's go doom, tuck. Doom, tuck, doom, tuck, doom, tuck, doom, tuck. Doom is traditionally connected to the element of water. It's the cleansing, purifying energy of water. And it resonates at the second chakra in the lower abdomen. The next stroke is tuck, 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 tuck. And tuck is um, connected to the energy of fire. It's the sound of radiant heat and light, and it resonates at the third chakra at the solar plexus. Now the next stroke on this drum is a brushing sound. Down, up, down, tuck, down, up, down, tuck. And this brushing sound is connected to the elemental energy of air. It's the breath that we all share, and it resonates at the fourth chakra at the heart center. The strokes I think of as the alphabet. And now we're going to start combining them so that we would have words. Doom, tak, tak, doom, tak, tak, ka, doom, tak, tak, ka, doom, tak, tak. Doom tak tak doom tak tak doom tak tak doom tak tak ka doom tak tak ka doom tak tak ka doom tak tak ka doom tak tak. Now these combination patterns are very important to practice. Good. Um, ideally, you should master each section before you go on to the next section of the video. Good. But I know you're going to watch the whole video straight through and try to do the whole thing the first time you watch it. I just want to talk to you about the talks. Um, you may find that you're going to have to strengthen the left hand talk. 
and do all those exercises and really develop your tox. Now I'm going to show you some eight beat rhythms. Do, tock, tock, ka, tock, tock, ka, tock, do, ka, tock, 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 ka, tock, tock, do, tock, do, tock, tock, do, tock, ka, do. The next um, rhythm that I'm going to show you um, uses the brushing stroke. It goes. Brush, 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 talk, ka. Um, I want you to think about your hand split completely in two. Kitty, ta, ka, kitty. Ta ka, kitty ta ka, kitty ta ka. I want you to think about the way a magnet sticks to the refrigerator. That's what you really um, have to get the quality of sticking to the drum head for this technique. So let's let's lift the top part of the hand up, top, bottom. Don't make this mistake. Keep the hands soft and sticking to the drum head. Top, bottom, top, bottom. What I just showed you was how to replace one stroke before a doom or talk. Now I'm going to show you how to replace two strokes right before a talk. Now I'm going to show you how to put the. Now I'm going to show you. How, now I'm going to show you how to replace. Now, these exercises take a lot of practice. Um, just to let you know, it usually takes about two years to get really fluid on this technique, but some people get it much faster. Also helps if you're on unemployment. Um, drumming is the most healthy, healing way that I've found to channel repetitive, obsessive behavior. It's a tambourine. This is a tambourine that... <laughs> there's no talk, so it sounds something like this. It's called a bandeer. It has a snare on the inside that causes it to buzz. And I believe it's a remnant of the ancient bee priestess's drum. This is the kanjira. It's a uh, tambourine with one set of jingles and a very loose head. Well, we've come to the end of the video. And remember that practice plus patience equals power. The sound of the mother's blood and the sound of the drum are one. Drumming is a means of aligning ourselves with our deepest inner pulse and also aligning ourselves with the deepest pulse behind all of reality. <laughs>